Good day, Scolapians. Now we are going to tackle about interactions among living things in an ecosystem. What is an ecosystem? Ecosystem is an area or a habitat wherein the biotic factors or the living things interact with the non-living things or the abiotic factors such as the air, water, sunlight, temperature, and soil. There are several ways by which the living and non-living components in an ecosystem interact. An example of an ecosystem is the tropical rainforest. Tropical rainforests are characterized by large amounts of rain, warm, temperature, and thick plant growth. The sun is the initial source of energy for this ecosystem. A wide diversity of plants thrive in tropical rainforests due to favorable climate and soil conditions. Plants in tropical rainforests compete for sunlight and nutrients. Through photosynthesis, plants in tropical forests provide food for many animals. Animals also find shelter and protection from plants like trees in the ecosystem. Tropical rainforest too is considered as the richest biome in terms of number of species, where you can find diverse amount of animal species. Another form of ecosystem is found in the depth of the ocean, the coral reefs. Coral reefs are also called as the tropical rainforest of the sea. Why do you think so? Many ocean animals live in coral reefs. The coral reef is a large underwater ecosystem made up of hard, protective coverings of corals that have died. The sun is also the initial source of energy in coral reefs. Corals are actually animals, but often mistaken as plants. Corals are alive and they do not make their own food. They have a special relationship with algae. Algae are a diverse group of aquatic organisms that can carry out photosynthesis. Some algae grow inside the corals. They serve as food for the primary consumers like fish and other sea animals. Corals also provide shelter and protection for many aquatic animals. The next common habitat is the mangrove forest. It is a dense area of trees with tangled roots that appear to be standing above water. It is mostly present in tropical areas with temperatures always above 16 degrees Celsius and is very active in its role for the environment. It is an important habitat for a variety of organisms aside from its important role of protecting the coastlines and stabilizing intertidal mud flats. It is also a home of diverse species like fish, birds, snakes, crocodiles, and others. In your activity, write specific examples of living components and non-living components found in each ecosystem. And for the interaction, write how these two components interact with each other in order to survive. 